Colin. How's it going, Ellen? How are you? I'm, I'm great. Thanks for asking. How are you? I'm, I'm doing OK. I'm doing pretty good. Good. Well, you look good. Congratulations to you. You got married since I saw you last. Yeah, Woo! That's right. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we snuck it in. It was very, uh, we felt lucky that we were able to, to, to get in a wedding and also and have our, our families there and be able to do it safely. So uh, it was nice. We felt like we got away with it. Yeah, well, you got away with it. I'm sure it wasn't what you planned exactly. Michael Chase said that he was going to go, but he said he was not going to behave himself. He was going to interrupt. <laughs> did he go and did he behave himself? It's a great threat. The better thing was he was well behaved. So for the whole time, I was just waiting for the other shoe to drop. Uh, and what, his, <laughs> what his like long his long con was going to be, and then I the other day he just kind of came up to me in the hallway and he's like, "Hey, uh, I uh, I got you something," and I was like, "What do you mean?" And he's like, "Wedding present. Um, I'll have to bring it by sometime." And I'm like, "Oh God, what?" So I'm waiting to find out what this this thing is, but uh, I, I, we're both pretty concerned uh, for our well-being. Wow. How long has he been, yeah. wait, how long have you been waiting for he it? He said That's it's also kind of a housewarming present, which now I'm, there's definitely, it's going to be something that I know is going to take up a lot of space and it's probably going to be haunting in some way. I can't wait to hear what it is. I love him. I love the relationship you two have. It's hilarious. So, yeah. so last Saturday, uh, one of the stars from Bridgerton hosted SNL. Um, man, the audience, I actually thought it was kind of a joke that they, I thought that was kind of part of the bit with the screaming and stuff that they were, I've never seen an audience at SNL act like that. No, it was a full like 90s TRL audience that we had. Uh, it was. I, you know, and by the way, we've been, we've had such, you know, we have small, they're like 25% capacity. And normally if you're in a, you know, if you're looking for a comedy audience, you don't really, you're not looking for people who are going to whoop and holler and that kind of thing. But it's so much better than silence. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I would take a whoop any day of the week, uh, even if it's, it's not necessarily as good as a laugh, but it's a lot better than silence. Right. So yeah. that was a relief. Yeah, no, I mean, I really was, every time they were, that was happening, I was like, I, I don't even think they do that like when BTS is there, but except you can't hear them because they're performing music. But it was, it was quite something. No, he's a, he's a, it seems like he's a verified hunk and, and people are very yep. excited to see him. Yeah, he's the full package, as they say. He's a, he's a good looking guy and so talented. Um, hey, you guys are always looking for news stories uh, so that you can make fun of whatever's happening on Weekend Update. When you heard the news about Ted Cruz going to Cancun, that that's a uh, what a gift. <laughs> yeah, that was that was Christmas uh, two months after Christmas. Uh -huh. That was really wonderful. It was so crazy because everyone you realize how many enemies he's made that you, the, even Republicans were like, "This is bad. <laughs> this is really dumb and bad." The one thing you did not hear from a single person was. He's a good guy. Give him a chance. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't hear it from a single person. I remember uh, Al Franken had a great quote about him. He's like, when he was in the Senate, he's like, I, uh, I like Ted Cruz more than most of my colleagues, and I do not like Ted Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Hey, um, you know, it's cold in uh, in Texas, but it is cold in New York, and the, the hilarious thing is, I mean, y'all are used to it, I guess. Texans are not expecting what, what's happening there right now, but, but I mean, people are still outdoor dining in the middle of winter in New York. Yeah, we're, we're pretty desperate for <laughs> uh, any kind of uh, joy or uh, experience in life. Um, it's, I think a lot of it, I think a lot of it is just if we are, even if we're holding a wine with mittens and a hat on, it somehow feels like we're not alcoholics, you know? <laughs> like, no, we did it outside uh, at a restaurant. So mentally, we're, we're doing great. Yeah, y'all yeah, are troopers. Um, it's yeah, you, know, you know it's bad when you're like sitting next, you're like next to a snow drift and a bus is just launching dirty snow at your table. And you're like, this is one of the best experiences I've had in weeks. <laughs> <laughs> That's really sad. Let's talk about Tom and Jerry. Tell everybody what it's about. Uh, it's about Tom and Jerry. Yep. Uh, I think it, 
I think if you don't, if you're not familiar with Tom and Jerry, <laughs> this might not be the movie for yeah. you. Can't really help you. Were you a, were you a fan as a kid? I was. I was a bit. My brother and I watched it all the time, uh, like Saturday morning, and we tried to reenact a lot of the moments from Tom and Jerry, which it turns out work a lot better when you're a cartoon and not a human boy. Um, and my mom was not thrilled that we were doing uh, those those reenactments, but the local emergency rooms and plastic surgeons loved it. Okay. Uh, they, they thought it was great for business and really appreciated <laughs> what we were trying to do. Oh. You, um, there's, there's a scene earlier where you're walking into a hotel with your dog, who's animated, but um, yes, the way right. that you film that, let's just show everybody what was really, so there's a human person on a leash, that's how you're filming. Yeah, I just want to point out, that wasn't my idea. I wasn't like, guys, here's how we do it. <laughs> I was just, a, you know, a, a, just a poor actor. I was handed a leash, and they're just like, hey, just, just trust us on this. It'll make sense two years from now when it's animated. Um, so I'm just handed a leash, and I'm just standing there, and it looks, it's, you know, I'm like, are you, do you, is this okay? And the guy's like, oh, yeah, I love it. This is great. I'm like, I don't believe you. Um, and I just look like the most laid-back dominatrix. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you can, do whatever you want. Don't go too far. Uh, you yeah, know, let's just enjoy it. The guy that was um, on the leash, what did he do prior to that? What was his job <laughs> that he got that? Uh, I think, um, I, I guess I would say it, that might have been his first and last. I, as far as I know, <laughs> job, I don't know, I don't know what that, what you study. I don't know if it's, is it typically Juilliard? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know enough about acting to know the, the progression. But, um, you know, if anyone needs one of those, whatever that is, he's know, the guy. Let me know. He's the guy. I'll have, um, hey, listen. I'll have my people call his people. You know, I always love talking to you. We were supposed to have you on the show the day I was literally ab about to walk out and do a show, and they told me I had COVID. So we had to cancel you that day, like literally 15 minutes before the show. And I hated it, because I love you so much. So I'm so happy to see you again. Congratulations on your book. A Very Punchable Face is now nominated for Funniest Audio Book, right? Hilar it, it's so many funny stories in here. We were going to play a game. We ran out of time, but but Colin, I, I just I, I adore you. You're you're funny, and, uh, I, and say hello to Scarlett and and Michael and everybody. Tom and Jerry is out in theaters and at HBO Max on Friday. Thanks so much. We'll be back. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like ball peen hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities if you're into that sort of thing.